Israel has long propagated the myth that it has no partner for peace. Palestinians never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity, Israelis say. This concept has failed long time ago. We had at least five times in history that the Palestinians were offered to have a state. They always refused. Israel has made concession after concession, they will argue. And the Palestinians have rejected generous peace offers time after time. Is that really the case? And are Palestinians opposed to peace? The roots of this myth go back to the 1947 UN partition plan. Israel, which had everything to gain and nothing to lose, points to its acceptance of the plan to demonstrate its desire for peace, while Palestinians, who had everything to lose and nothing to gain, are blamed for rejecting it. The idea of partition was opposed by the Palestinians because as the original inhabitants of the territory, it was unfair and forced concessions on them which the UN and other Western parties had no right to demand. Their long-standing political aspiration was for a unitary, secular state where all the inhabitants of Palestine, Muslims, Christians, Jews and other minorities lived in coexistence. The Palestinian vision clashed with the imported Zionist aim of violently usurping the status quo to establish an ethnic Jewish state. However, while accepting the 1947 UN partition plan publicly, Israeli leaders privately insisted that any acceptance of partition would be tactical and temporary. Partition was to serve as a launch pad for their settler colonial project to take over every inch of historic Palestine. And in the decades since, Israel has imposed a system of domination and apartheid, which would not have been possible without the infectious spread of the politically charged narrative that it has no partner for peace. It was the PLO that came to the Oslo peace process, as you know and remember, uh, Yasser Arafat. Yeah. And we have committed to the three requirements by us of the international community. Accept the two states, renounce violence and, you know, go for negotiations and accept international consensus and resolutions. Mm -hmm. And the world told us, told us 30 years ago, should you do this, we will deliver Israel. Israel will end its settlements and occupation and we will enforce and guarantee accountability. We did our three commitments. Israel never abided by one, even one day. Let's not forget that for the sake of peace, it was the Palestinians who, under the 1993 Oslo Accords, agreed to give up armed resistance and 78% of historic Palestine. The reward in the 30 years since is not a Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza, but more occupation a never-ending expansion of illegal Jewish-only settlements and a system of apartheid. With a half a million illegal settlers, Jewish-only settlements are not only an obstacle to peace as Israel's major ally, the US, has conceded, the sprawling expansion has made a viable Palestinian state impossible. Across all major issues, every unrealistic Israeli demand has been elevated over basic Palestinian rights. So the next time someone insists on the tight trope, Israel has no partner for peace, remind them that it is Israel, through its illegal occupation, wars of aggression and ethnic cleansing, which has destroyed the chance for peace.